Coming Clean, an airing of laundrette stories. Mmm. If you're like me, you'll love the smell of fresh laundry. So many people do. It's a really evocative smell, isn't it? It's one of the things I really like about going into the laundrette. The steaminess, the whirring sounds and that beautiful, clean, fresh smell of washing powder. Once I was in there and the clothes were washing, uh, it was a really nice little bubble of space. It was like my time to read my book or my magazine. I remember the smell, the smell of the washing powder it was really perfumed and the heat of the dryers, sometimes it was a bit overwhelming. My local laundry encourages its customers to go to the pub opposite to get a change to use the machines. So I suppose the two come hand in hand, uh, pint whilst you wait. Hell, I might as well put another load in. But what if you can't use a laundrette? How do you stay clean? How do you maintain your dignity if you can't even get through the door of your laundrette? My, uh, my laundry isn't really something I want everyone to see as I have incontinence. It's liquid you can get off Amazon and literally just soak your clothes in to a sink or a bucket um, and you don't have to rinse and then just get someone to hang it up. I'm bed bound hence the lazy no rinse detergent washing. Other things are needed to be done at a laundrette and none near me are accessible. I couldn't find any with an email to contact them so it meant that my carer had to as I have hearing impairments. I've used one in the past and found it exhausting and couldn't get the stuff back out of the machine afterwards. Also couldn't reach the coin machine where you bought tokens as it was up on the wall. Uh, I can't get through the door of my local one so my husband has to do it which uh, is not ideal. Ooh! Happens doesn't it? How many times have you found something that doesn't belong to you in the wash? I used to love watching other people taking out their washing and folding it up, trying to guess what sort of a person they were. This person obviously mixes a thong with a Che Guevara t-shirt. So who do people meet when they're in a laundrette? Do they have interesting conversations? I've got an old friend who travels an hour and a half on a bus to their laundrette because they're supposedly good with stains. I'd ask, but I'm really not so sure I want to know. We used to use a laundrette in Clapton Pond every Sunday. It really amused me because the local football team used to come and wash their shirts and they would be in there all afternoon. They didn't need the whole team to be there washing the shirts, but they were all enjoying quite a lot of uh, imperial uh, stout or Guinness. So generally they were having a bevy up before they went back to their families. What sort of memories do people have about doing the laundry, using laundrettes? always a fight for the dryer people would split their stuff up you know they'd all sit there and they'd all be eyeing the dryers really weird like a competition or something i had a fantastic pair of knee length stripy socks and the washing machine ate one two years later seriously it came back out of the machine i just left home for the first time not worldly wise at all and um, i pressed the button to get some washing powder and I ended up with washing powder all over my foot because I hadn't realised that you have to put a cup underneath to catch the soap powder. I returned to Brixton after a dull and rather sad Christmas with my parents. None of my flatmates had returned yet. I imagine people had been going to parties the night before, you know. I sat alone in, in a laundry. There was a, there was a sound system. It played You Got a Friend. I cried. All that folding and ironing. 
is it really all worth it? You have the joy of coming out and you've got all your clean clothes, they're all dry, ready to put away, feeling like you've really achieved and yeah, just ready to start the weekend, uh, feeling good. With thanks to all participants for airing their dirty washing so publicly. This project was supported by the Arts Council England Emergency Response Fund and is part of QDT Laundrette, a project produced by Quiet Down There CIC. At Christina Beasy Artist, ChristinaBeasy.com.